Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back on Dimash. He's dropped yet another new song. He's dropping songs like people are eating meals. He's, he's dropping one, one every week or every other week and it, it's good for me because I get to listen to some more of this awesome vocalist's performance. Uh, this one is called Quara Jim I or Quara Gim. I, I don't know how you say that, uh, but it's another one from his live show from this year and every single one that I've checked out so far from this con this uh, gig they did has been very, very cool and, and isn't he always anyway. Anyway, before we jump into this reaction, if you do actually like my videos then please consider to like and subscribe, it supports me, it supports the channel and I appreciate it very, very much. Don't forget to leave the little notification bell on so that you never miss an upload and the link to this video will be down in the description for anyone who wants to check it out by themselves. Anyway. Let's get straight into this. Dimash. Quara Jim. Hi. Don't know. I've got the subtitles on anyway, just in case he's singing it in a foreign language. Love his vocals. It's okay, so in, in this country, the apple of your eye is basically your children, or, you know, family. So I think this may be tributing to family, or in this case, has he got any children? I don't know. Um, as, as it could be doing it to siblings, I'm not sure, but it, I mean, obviously, um, apple of your eye is usually, you. well, it, it, I think it means um, when you're giving, like, like in this one, I think it's when you give advice to your kids and you're telling them that life's uh, too short, this, that, and the other. But I'll see how it progresses because it might mean something else in a different country. It's just that in England, uh, if someone says you're the apple of my eye, it's um, you know, you're saying that to your children, you know, like because you, you, you love your kids, etc. That's 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 how it comes across to me anyway. But obviously, um, you never know in different countries, different cultures, it might it mean something completely different. <laughs> He's got such a pure, awesome tone to his voice. I've just been thinking while I've been listening to this then that, you know, he could be singing from his own parents' point of view about, obviously, Dimash and um, asking him, like, who do you reckon you'll um, bump into in life? Who will you meet? You know what I mean? And why am I sad? Maybe because you've left home. I'm not sure. And that's just me making some assumptions. Um, but, I mean... 
I like the acoustic nature of this song. Just the piano, just Dimas. Very, very intimate. Uh, a few smoke effects, nothing too extravagant, but, you know, very, very personal and very heartfelt performance, as always. <laughs> Goosebumps it then. Okay, so the single day lived in love. You could have a, all your lifetime with all these days, etc. Is what he's saying there. But you know they don't compare to just one single day with being in love because not everybody gets to experience that in their lifetime. That's what I think I was just trying to say there. And also, um, I think Apple of Your Eye in, in, in what he's singing about might actually mean somebody in a relationship within, obviously. Um, his his part of the world, like but like I say, in this country, Apple your eye is is your kid. So I mean, I'm, it confuses me, but that's just because of where I'm from. Um, but I mean, on reflection, looking at like the things he's saying, like we're all, we're only guests here on the world, and the, that the world lives in vain, etc. I mean, I think it's a whole life thing, and he might be talking about experiencing love with someone. You know, not everyone gets to do that, and some people do. You know what I mean? And yeah, I think that's what he's trying to get across. Oh, his voice, man. She's gone. She's gone and the piano is playing by itself. What's happened? Is she a ghost? Uh, on that serious note, though, it's a beautiful, beautiful piano um, ballad, this. And obviously, I think Dimash is gonna, maybe going to do something on the piano now because he, he sat down and his hand went to it. <laughs> That was a showcase of his vocal ability. Everything about that was slick, it was smooth, it was brilliant. Um, and it also is his, his portrayal of what he was of the message he's trying to get across, his acting ability within the performance of that song was also top draw. Loved like I say before, I loved the acoustic nature of it, like the fact that it's just a piano and just D singing. It felt very, very, you know, 
one to one and intimate, which I said before, which is you know sometimes you like you get some upbeat songs, you get some you know downbeat songs, and sometimes you get just a, an acoustic version that you know hits you. And every time this guy sings, he hits me because I think he's awesome. Anyway, if you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe. You can support me on Patreon or any of the social medias, and the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. I shall see you all on the next one.